I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us. In this video, we will be doing numericals on the revenue concept of revenue. Now see, in this question, a jeweler sells three diamond rings. So quantity is given to you. Three diamond rings at price is given to you 12,000. Right. He sells four rings. He is selling four rings. And the marginal revenue is given 10,500. Now what will be the price? We have to find out the price. He sells four rings. This we have the question we have found in a tabular form. See, we can find out the total revenue of the three units, your price into your quantities, your total revenue, which means 36,000. Now here marginal revenue is nothing. Marginal revenue is addition to your successive units, means TR, N minus 1 minus TR, N. So, if you add MR to TRN, you will get the TRN minus 1 value, right? So, 36,000 plus 10,500, sorry, it's 500, you get 50064. This is your total revenue in this case. Now you can divide your total revenue by quantity. You'll get price. Total revenue divided by quantity. You'll get your price of 4. You will get your price as 11,625. So you can get this you have calculated the price which is 11,625. In this way you can solve this question. So your MR is the summation of TR. Means you keep on adding MR to your TR you get the consecutive next TRs. So we have added this MR to this TR we got the next TR. Right? We have given the formula of TR that is price into quantity. So by this we can find out the price means TR divided by quantity. So this is with this we have done your question. This is the other question of your revenue here. Find MR when TR increases from 1500 to 2000 and your output increases from 100 units to 150 units. See your MR other formula is change in TR divided by the change in output. What is the change in TR? 2000 minus 1500 and your change in output is 150 minus 100. So you have 500. Your initial TR was 1500 it has increased to 2000 which means New TR minus old TR, same way new quantity minus old quantity, you get change divided by 50. So, 10 MR is equal to rupees 10 is the answer of this question. This is the other question in which you have to find out the total revenue, marginal revenue and average revenue. Now see you are given with the price and you are given with the demand. The demand is means your quantity. Right? If the demand is this means you will supply this, these quantities. So your total revenue is price into quantity which means price into this demand 100, 180, 240, 280. 300, 
280 right now from this you can find out the marginal revenue 100 minus 0 is 100 because at 0 output the TR will be 0 so 0 180 minus 100 is 80 240 minus 180 is 60 280 minus 240 is 40 300 minus 280 is your 20 300 minus 300 is 0 280 minus 300 is your minus 20 which is TRN minus TRN minus 1 is the formula of calculating the MR so with this we have calculated your MR now we have to calculate the average revenue average revenue is your total revenue divided by your quantity here your total revenue is TR your quantity is 100 so 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1 180 divided by 90 is 2 240 divided by 80 is 3 280 divided by 4 is Oh, sorry 70 is 4 300 divided by 60 is 5 300 divided by 50 is 6 and 280 divided by 40 is 7 this is the average revenue and we have discussed in this chapter that your price is equal to average revenue and we have proved here that your average revenues are equal to the prices right so this is the other question from your revenue that you can get in your board exams i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us